Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. Last time, we got yet another Ceiling Stone, and we had to fight Agate for it, so we're pretty much guessing that it's Agate, unless the game wants to throw, throw us a curveball, but they haven't yet, so more than likely it is. We have a couple cool things to do today. We're going to get Agate, and we're going to do a door today as well, but not Agate's door. We'll do that one next. We'll do a different little door. I really like this background. It looks like something from Lunar. Whoa! What's going on? Huh. I guess that's going to take us to the, um, fifth pillar, but we haven't been there yet, and I have no plans on going there quite yet either. But we still, still do need Estelle. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so it isn't Estelle. It is Agate. Hey, hey, awesome. Dan? Tita's father? Oh, I guess he was in the middle of dinner or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was picking you up from the airliner while you were cooking with your mother, I'm imagining. Oh! Oh. Tita's so sweet. I love these two, uh, their little relationship here. You know, I know that there's nothing going on, if you catch my drift, but it's still just a cute friendship. I like it. It is rather odd that he's, you know, in his mid-twenties and she's like twelve, but eh, whatever. It's still cute. Like a nice little father figure, you know. Oh, yeah. Hey there, Agate. How you doing? Oh. <laughs> yeah, she is quite the cute one. Oh. Yeah, Agate doesn't like Tita that way, and Tita doesn't like him that way either. You know, she just needed a little father figure. Her parents have been in absentia for pretty much her entire life, it seems. Oh, yeah, just Estelle. Oh, yeah, poor Agate. Um, somebody probably should tell him what's going on. Murderous traps. Ooh, what exactly is going on in that door? <laughs> Yeah, if you recall at the very beginning of the game, the very first door that we had, the one that was mandatory with Tita, um, we are able to go back into that door uh, once Agate joins our party. And now that he's in our party, we can go through that door, but we're not going to do that today. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Well, Agate doesn't really need time to think about things like this. He's more of a doer than a thinker. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. We really need Estelle. I love Estelle. She's like one of my favorites. She's just like, you know, let's go kick ass and takes names, and she's so sweet and nice, and I like her. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Well, they all did say that he was getting bigger, so, yeah. Oh. Oh, really? Awesome. Um, yeah, again, Agate just accepts things for what they are. What is it? Oh. <laughs> um, sure, that could be it, Oliver, but I kinda don't think so. Um, I guess. <laughs> uh. Oh, they're so cute. Wow. Um, it's not a couple, Josette. No one's talking to you. Just shut up. Ooh, I don't like Josette. Just be my support character and leave me alone. Ooh. I mean, there's an age gap between Ken and I, too, but nothing like this. My god. I mean, it's just creepy whatever you get, you know, below 18 and all that. That's just insane. Yeah. Well, this is, uh, it's not exactly perilous. Right here, at least, in the garden, we're safe. We can, um, go and just, uh, you know, hang out. Oh, Reese. Yeah, she's just kind of pouting out right now. She'll be fine soon enough, though. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 
Oh, that is true. Yeah, Joshua has been a leader for quite some time. He could do it. Oh. Oh, that is true, yeah. And then there are some things that only Kevin and Reese can handle, like in the Gold and Silver Road. You know, they both had to be there. Oh, well, yeah, she'll kind of get over it. Oh, okay. Um, no, you're kind of in my party, Oliver. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so now Agate joins our party, and we could put him in right now. I'm not going to, though, because, um, yeah. He's level 112, and everybody else is like 108, 107, whatever. So, oh, wait, I need Oliver back. Wait, do I want Oliver back? It doesn't matter at this point. It's fine. Whatever. Okay, so because Agate joined our party, we will have an end slate where we um, go around and talk to everybody. But that's neither here nor there. That'll be in roughly, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Once we're done with this door right here. This door you are able to open at star door number two once you have fought 100 battles. And at this point, I have. So, let's open it up and uh, see what we got going on here. I wonder who it's about. I mean, 100 battles doesn't exactly specify a specific person. Maybe it's about everybody. Oh, I guess it is. Okay. Maybe it's about Kevin, since he kind of has to be in your party anyway. Well, we'll find out soon enough. North Ambria? The Salt Pail? Holy crap! Yeah, there's a lot of reading in this door. So for the most part, I'm going to be quiet, but I am going to talk about a couple of things. First of all, North Ambria is a country to the north of Erebonia, which was later annexed by um, Erebonia during the Erebonian Civil War. This report right here is, as you can see, it's signed by Reese. So it's written by Reese. This is the one who's actually talking right now. Um, she wrote this report. Also, Sarah Valstein, the teacher from Trails of Cold Steel, is from North Ambria, along with Weissman. He's from North Ambria, too. So apparently the entire country was destroyed back in 1178 by the Salt Pail. Oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah, that would be rather unsettling. Okay, so here it talks about the two knights of the Gauls of the Eighth Dominion, the Roaring Lion, and his squire went there. The Eighth Dominion is Barkhorn, it's not Kevin. Barkhorn was the guy who taught Gaius back in Trails of Cold Steel, who was like a Sunday school teacher or whatever. And there was also a quest in Trails of Cold Steel too, where you had to kind of like run around and chase after him. So. Hopefully that jogs your memory as far as who Barkhorn actually was. Whoa! Holy shit! Damn! Oh, yeah. So as far as I'm aware, there are no uh, Trails games that actually detail North Ambria or the Salt Pail event. Um, this is really the most that we get, unless there's something in the crossbow games, but I don't think so. Well, that's no good at all. That'll poison the soil. Oh. Oh, God. Shit, so, th so the salt pail not only killed tons of people there, but it also just completely destroyed the environment, destroyed the infrastructure, and the prince left them all for dead. Great. Oh, God. Oh, 
so after three days it just stopped? That's rather unusual. So, you may have heard the name North Ambria before, but you don't really know where or who or what or why. All those Northern Jaegers that you hear about, especially in Cold Steel, the Northern Jaegers are pretty much the refugees from North Ambria. Basically, like, they can't really live there anymore. I mean, their whole land was solidified and just destroyed. A lot of um, people's parents were, you know, killed in this and just people in general. So a lot of orphans. So basically, they had nothing else to do besides fight. It's the only way they could really make their living. So, yeah, Northern Jaegers are, for the most part, kind of refugees from North Ambria. Oh, shit, turned into a pillar of salt. Man. Oh, the Glepnir. Huh. I believe that that is one of the Septarians or one of those artifacts or something. I'm not entirely sure what the Glepnir is. Apparently it's just some tool that you can use to touch the, the salt pail and not get, you know, turned into a pillar of salt by it. Oh, wow. That's good, at least. You know, the church set in where the government couldn't or wouldn't. Oh, really? And one of those people was Weissman. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Oh, yeah, that's the prince who left. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't really want a prince to come back and be like, you know, well, now I'll help you guys out after I left you all for dead. Screw you. Okay, so they basically kicked out the monarchy and became a democracy. Okay, well, that's kind of nice. Oh, well, great. Yeah, it's autonomous right now in Trails in the Sky, but after Trails of Cold Steel 2, after the Erebonian Civil War and everything, and Reen going in and fighting with Valimar, blah 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 blah, that's whenever Erebonia annexed North Ambria. Yeah, so this is where the army pretty much at this point becomes the Northern Jaegers. Because they're just desperate. I mean, they have nothing else to do. They don't have any other ways of making money. Oh, like what? Oh, that's true. Yeah, where did the stupid thing come from? Huh. I wonder if we're gonna get a game that takes place in North Ambria and kind of goes around the salt pail. That'd be kind of cool. Or maybe powers of destruction? Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Just theory, I guess. How is this a gift from Audios? It killed, like, two-thirds of the population. I mean, come on. Now this report here, you can see it's signed by Kevin Graham. So Kevin Andrews were both involved in this salt pill incident, or at least with various parts of it at least. Oh, so now they're going to use a salt pill as a weapon. Yeah, it would just, you know, turn somebody into salt in seconds. Why don't it be something from Star Ocean, the first one? Oh, okay. 
Okay, that's true. Huh. I wonder who Kevin had to execute. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, they actually did use it to execute someone. Oh, and it was fired from a bow gun. The same weapon that Kevin uses. Really? You don't say. Oh, was he really? He was orphaned by the saw pail. Huh. Oh, and he joined the church. Really? Hmm. Oh, he was a heretic. Huh. You don't say. Okay, if you can't put two and two together, the person who Kevin executed using that salt pill weapon was none other than George Weissman. Yeah, that's who he executed. So, next time, let's play Le Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. We are going to go and finish up Agate's door. Yeah, well, really Tita's door, but now it's Agate's door. It'll work. So stick around for the end slate whenever I go around and just talk to everybody here. And if you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day. Thank you.